Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Sauce. It's the backup channel, backing Celeb up and bringing you all the breaking news. Listen, you know how like the older people used to say, don't let your mouth write a check that your A can't cash? Well apparently, Tasha K let her mouth write a check that her bank accounts can't cash. Because now, Tasha K has filed Chapter 11 bankruptcy in order to avoid paying Cardi B the $4 million that she owes her after she lost to Cardi B in a defamation lawsuit in court. Look, Cardi B is not playing about her Skrilla. She wants her money from Tasha K. And I mean, she done going after this chick's bank accounts. She done going after this chick's like YouTube earnings. She is not playing. So I guess like Tasha K figured, this is the only way that she's gonna get away from Cardi. But I mean, I'm no like bankruptcy expert, but like by doing this, does she like satisfy the debt and like she doesn't have to pay Cardi anymore? I mean like does the bankruptcy like protect any new money that she makes like after the bankruptcy? Like can Cardi go after the post bankruptcy money? That's what I want to know or does like Cardi have to take her back to court? Let me know what you think in the comments. Now check it out. It seems as though Raz B from the group B2K is currently going through something because the other night he posted like a video of himself at a hotel and he seemed to be very paranoid because he thought that people were after him. Check out what Raz B had to say. All day I've been trying to clear uh, miscommunications up, but I'm letting everybody know right now that Joseph I need you to call me right now. Because let me tell you, I don't feel safe. I'm in Kansas City. I'm at the Hilton Hotel. And I'm telling everybody right now, Rasby does not feel safe. Pull out an APB for Rasby in Kansas City. I don't feel safe. I don't feel safe. I'm telling everybody right now, I don't feel safe. What's up? What's up? What's up? It's turned up. That's the location where I'm at. So call all my call all my army friends, marine friends. No, I'm not good. That's exactly where I'm at. Come get me. Yep, I'm staying right here. And they're gonna everybody's gonna be compliant. I'm not saying that something's going on. I'm just letting my people know I don't feel safe. And everybody's been very helpful here, so thank you. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate your service. Thank you for the charger. She gave me a charger and everything, guys. Yo, Blanco, call, 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 call a hotel. Rasby, you already know. APB, nigga, what's popping? I'm not trying to go to war with anybody. I'm just trying to put Rasby in a safe space so Rasby can check into a, a, a facility. Well, apparently somebody who knew Raz B got to him and they took him to a hospital because he needed to have like surgery on his wrist. We don't know why. And they put him on a 72 hour hold. But while he was being held, he broke one of the hospital windows and shimmied up the wall like Spider-Man and went up to the roof. And while he was up on the roof, he started pacing back and forth. Look, I don't know what this young man is going through. I don't know if like the pressures of life finally got to him or like the alleged abuse that he suffered at the hands of his handlers got to him or like if he ingested something that just wasn't good for him. But what I do know is that I commend this young man for asking for help and putting out that SOS call in his time of stress and distress. Listen, no man is an island, so we can't do this all alone. And sometimes we all need to ask for help. So I'm asking for all of you prayer warriors out there to pray for Raz B and ask the Lord to heal this young man and touch him from the top of the head to the soles of the feet. In Jesus' name, amen. And for anybody else who's out there and you're going through a little something something, just know that asking for help is not a sign of weakness. It's actually a sign of wisdom. Now check it out. The other day Kim Kardashian said that all of the shenanigans that Kanye West pulled during their marriage are going to have more of a damaging effect on their kids than her sex tape. Kim said quote, 
Even just how he looks down on me for my tape and brings it up all over town, all over the media. Thanks for reminding people once again. All of his shenanigans, I don't even know what the F to call it. It's going to be far more damaging to the kids one day than my tape will ever be. End quote. Listen, I am so sick and tired of Kim Kardashian trying to trash Kanye. What they were doing as parents is called mutually assured destruction. Both of them were wilding out. Because, I mean, what Kanye was doing was no better or worse than those kids growing up and seeing like their mother taking back shots from Ray J. Let me tell you something, when I was growing up, my father was no saint, but my mother never ever talked negatively about my father in spaces that were privy to us kids because she didn't want her personal feelings about him as a man to affect our feelings of him as a father. Listen, let me ask all the people out there who are listening a question. If you have children with somebody, do you speak down about your baby's daddy or your baby's mama in front of the children? Let me know in the comments. And while you're down there leaving a comment, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Now, check it out. On Thursday, the Southeastern Pennsylvania Transit Authority, aka SEPTA, announced that they have instituted a ban on shysty ski masks in response to a fatal shooting of a man that took place on one of their Germantown PA buses. Apparently, the shooter was rocking a hoodie and a ski mask, so when they shot the victim in the chest, nobody could identify who they were. Now, during a press conference about the ban, SEPTA Transit Police Chief Charles Lawson referred to the face coverings as shysty masks and said, quote, those face masks are prohibited on SEPTA property. If you come on SEPTA property wearing your shysty, you will be engaged by police. So I want you to think about it. Masks are an issue. I'm going to be completely honest with you. These full head coverings are a major issue because we're seeing it routinely being worn in 80 degree weather in Philadelphia. There's no legitimate reason pandemic withstand to wear a full head covering in public for anything, end quote. <laughs> Listen, I'm not even going to front because I have gone outside and I have seen these young guys like rolling around with these full ski masks. And I mean, it's like 70, 80 degrees outside. And I mean, like, what are you doing with the full ski mask? You look like a deep sea diver. And on top of that, you look hot as hell because why do you have on a full ski mask with like shorts on? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you got on the t-shirt, the mesh shorts, the Crocs and socks with the ski mask. I mean, that right there just makes you look shysty, even if you're not up to something. So, like, listen, maybe Pennsylvania is right for instituting a ban. Let me know what you think. Do you think that PA is right for instituting a shysty mask ban? Let me know what you think in the comments. And look. Maybe next, they can institute a ban that stops these young girls from wearing bubble gooses with half tops in the winter. <laughs> Listen, on to the next story. Yo, did you guys know that when Nicki Minaj was younger, Nicki wanted to be a nurse? Check out little Nicki Minaj. Hi, my name is Nicki Minaj and I go to PS45. I like to be a nurse when I grow up so I can help people less fortunate than I am. <laughs> Little Nikki was mad cute, and it amazes me that at that age, she had no clue that she was getting ready to blow up to become Nicki Minaj. Or maybe she did, and in the back of her mind, she was standing there thinking, I'm going to become the biggest rapper, and I'm going to have the biggest A, and I'm getting ready to stunt on all of these winches as soon as I get myself a few more barrettes. <laughs> Listen, let me know what you think about little Nicki Minaj. Do you think that little Nicki had any clue of what big Nicki was gonna be? <laughs> and honestly, I can actually see Nicki as being like a good nurse. Because, I mean, underneath that like tough exterior, I actually think that Nicki is a very like thoughtful and empathetic person. Let me know what you think in the comments. Now, peep this. The other day, Nick Cannon was doing a Nick Cannon show. And during the show, he started talking to the co-host about who he would prefer to see in concert out of Bruno Mars, Taylor Swift, and Beyonce. And he said that he would prefer to see Bruno Mars. Okay, that's all right. That's your preference, right? But then, Nick Cannon went on to say that Bruno Mars has more hits than Beyonce. Nick said, quote, See, no offense, but I would rather go to a Bruno Mars show than a Beyonce or Taylor Swift show. Who got more hits? 
end quote. Now, after Nick said that, the co-host was like, Beyonce got more hits and started naming the hits like Say My Name, Drunken Love, and Single Ladies. And after they said that, Nick was like, quote, I still believe Bruno Mars actually has more hit records, end quote. Look, it is one thing for like Nick Cannon to say that he would prefer to see Bruno Mars in concert, but it's a whole nother thing to say that Bruno Mars has more hits than Beyonce. What in the world is like Nick Cannon smoking? And I can guarantee you, if he sold what he was smoking, I mean that Wild and Out Kush, that Nick Cannabis, I mean people would probably buy it because this thing has Nick Cannon spaced out right now. Listen, let me know what you think about what Nick Cannon said. Do you think that Bruno Bruno Mars has more hit records than Beyonce? Let me know in the comments. And hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celebrity news. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Peace.